So what I want to do with this video is do two things. Show how to use the advanced search functions on PubMed and then how to generate automatic email alerts. So what happens is if I just type in lung ultrasound, for instance, I will get so many hits. I mean, this is 92,000 hits. And if you look at them, like this one doesn't have anything about ultrasound in it. Um, this one right here doesn't have anything about ultrasound in it. This one doesn't have any like lung or ultrasound in it. I think what happens is they just, if there's lung mentioned in the article or mentioned in the abstract, it'll show up in the search. So what I do instead is I'll go to this advanced right here and I will click these fields and only do title. So I'll just do lung ultrasound. So if I search here, it will only show me things that have lung ultrasound in the title, which this is gonna be a lot more useful to me as I'm doing my search. And that brought it down from whatever that 90,000 number was to 1300. And then what I'll do to narrow it down, I'll often make the publication date just the last five years, and I might uh, do only humans, because sometimes there's good studies that come out of animal studies, but often I'm just looking for human studies, and voila, you have a much more palatable amount of articles to go through. Now, to set up your email alerts, what you do is you just click this Create Alert button, and it will ask you what you want. So it filters here, so it's every, the search that I just did, and if you say, would you like email up as new search results? Yes, how often would you like it? Monthly, first Sunday, what I like to do instead is daily, it keeps me really up to date here, and you can say how many items it can send you, uh, if I usually do 50, and um, definitely don't want that, any text to be added, and I'll type in lung ultrasound, and save. And now every day I'm gonna get alert if a new ultrasound article was published and put on PubMed, I'll get it to my email. So it makes it a lot easier to stay up to date.